in this video i will provide you guidance about your coming assignment which is on information handling and about this we have already learned how to make histogram how to find mean median and mod or representative values of data so uh, we already have learned all of these mathematical uh, tools that help us dealing with information or data so in this assignment you are going to formally use your pr previous information for example uh, the here uh, we have an example right we collect and analyze the data to answer questions and as well as solve the problems so for example uh, if uh, sir kamar wants to know the types of sports that his uh, students enjoy most so he collected data so 10 students says that so what he first did uh, he first collected the data then he converted the data in a tabular form like this like for example uh, favorite sport and number of students uh, who like it for, so the, the basketball was liked by 10 students then by badminton 7 students hockey 5 students soccer 12 students and so forth then he uh, uh, present his information uh, in a diagram or a graph like this you can say this this is a bar graph so after looking at this graph we can easily understand the information so graph basically helps us uh, interpret uh, uh, the available information or data so after uh, making graph he interprets the information and draw the following conclusions what conclusions was that the most popular sport among his student is soccer you can easily uh, interpret this using this graph that the soccer is the most favorite sport uh, uh, among his students the second conclusion more than the half of the class prefer either soccer or basketball if you look at these two bars so they are more than the half of other two bars that means most of uh, more more than half of the class uh, prefers to play soccer or uh, basketball right then hockey is the least popular sport you can see this so when you plot first you calculate uh, collect information then you graph it like this whichever is suitable graph you have to decide that then after the information is converted in a graph you can easily make conclusions like this yeah these are known as conclusions meanings from the data right so this is what you are supposed to do in this assignment in the first task you are given a data right this is a data of push-ups uh, of students so uh, you can easily see this data in this uh, first task you are just supposed to create an appropriate graph for the data the data is given to you now you have to decide which is uh, which one should be an appropriate graph for this data right so first you will make or create a graph appropriate graph and then with the help of the graph you will interpret as uh, uh, sir kamar did after looking at this information or this graph uh, he concluded uh, these conclusions right similarly after plotting your graph of this data you will write three conclusions what do you find in the data when you will make the graph you will be easily understanding the information though you can write the conclusions as well next we have in the second task you are supposed to collect and organize data to draw conclusion in this the first instruction is that choose any one of the following categories to sorry to me for a survey so first you will select any one of these uh, topic or category or head whatever you want to say like favorite sports you want to conduct a survey on favorite sport or favorite subject or favorite food favorite school activities number of siblings in house so you can uh, you can find any one of it first you will choose any one of it right for example if you choose uh, favorite sports then you have to collect data so you have to collect data and for collecting data you will use google form to conduct a survey with at least 30 participants you will collect data from 30 your friends your family members your neighbor uh, neighbors or uh, your your family members everyone you can rotate this data using your social media accounts and you can collect information you can uh, collect unlimited participant but at least there should be 30 participant and how you will conduct uh, information using google form I will in the last of this video I will guide you about Google form as well right 
then after uh, after the uh, after collecting data like this you will have information like this so you will show this information in the assignment and then again you will repeat the same process you will graph the information uh, uh, using an appropriate graph and then you will draw at least three conclusions right so process is same in this task uh, the data is given and you are just supposed to uh, select the right graph and then draw in con conclusions and in the second task you are supposed to first conduct a survey to get data then you will plot it and then you will uh, draw conclusions so this is all about your assignment now let's move and discuss because you are supposed to use google form so i would like to explain what google form is in the next video thank you so much